Hey guys, what's going on? My name's Aaron. I've been a trans tape user for about three years now, and I wanted to show you how I apply my trans tape, and uh, we're gonna start with our nipple covers. So let's go get those started. Okay, so we're gonna make sure we are making our nipple covers. Nipple covers are the way to protect your nipples. Um, you don't wanna have to pull tape off of your nipples. It can be a sensitive area, so that's what these are for. Um, we're gonna make two squares. Um, out of our trans tape here um, a lot of people obviously have different size areolas so you kind of have to know your body to know like you know how big of a size you'll actually need to make sure you're entirely covered I'm gonna go about there so I'm gonna slice this through and then I've got a big one so then I'm just gonna cut straight through in the middle like this so now I've got two pieces that work as my nipple covers. Our next step is to uh, peel this back and make sure that we're having a like tiny square on the inside so that way the adhesive is not going straight to our areola. So the best way to do that is um, to take, some people use toilet paper, you fold it in thirds and then in thirds. But I think the best way, thanks to Bo, I actually learned um, to take a separate chunk, right? and we're gonna unpeel it and then this is what we're gonna fold into thirds or for me I'm gonna go halves with this one instead of using a toilet paper piece of toilet paper it actually helps it be less like soggy and like that like paper feeling so this is gonna be good for one and it looks like I'm gonna need one more for my other side here okay so now that we've got our pads ready to go we're gonna want to set them onto our sticky side here and um, to start that we're just gonna take our piece peel this back so that way we have a nice adhesive to work with and then we're gonna set this right in the middle usually you want it to be a little bit taller than the actual cover so you're just gonna set it in there with as much as possible you want to touch the stickiness as least as possible so that way it stays very tight to the skin all right, so now we're gonna pull this back. Try to touch it the least amount as possible. Grab your nipple cover and set it right there in the center. Like I said, try to have as much on the edges as possible. So that way it sticks well to your body. Okay, and now they're ready to go. So now that we got our nipple covers ready to go, we're gonna wanna set them over, you're gonna cover your whole areola. You don't wanna have to pull any kind of adhesive off that area. So we're just gonna set it right on top. Zero tension, we're not pulling anything right now. This is just to protect our skin. I got a little wrinkle right there, but that's gonna be all right. And then we're gonna rub to activate the adhesive on these edges real good so we don't go anywhere on us. So I've got a little bit up on, a little bit of like a opening here, but that's okay. Because as long as it stays on the sides, on the sides, as long as it stays on the sides, we're good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side the same way. So now that we've got our second one ready to go, we're gonna go ahead and pop it right over the top of our, our areola, cover everything that we can to make it as safe as possible for our skin. And then we're gonna rub to activate the adhesive. That's, that's big. Make sure that we're really keeping that on there. And you're gonna be putting tape over this, so it's really just a little bit a little bit of padding over the chest. Um, and now we're gonna get our strips ready. Okay, now that we're done putting our nipple covers on, it's time to get our strips ready. Everybody's sizes sizing is a little bit different. Um, for me, I do about four, probably three and a half um, strips. Um, so these blue lines kind of help you decide based on your body, you know, how, what size that you need. And um, so that's super helpful not to be able to choose your own strip size. So we've got one blue line, two blue line, three, and I'm gonna go in a half, probably two over. So that's gonna be the right size for me. And I'm gonna need two of these, one for each side. I bind my chest um, not as flat as I could. Uh, but it's because it makes me more comfortable. So like if I wanted to have flatter results, I could achieve that with more strips or maybe just like one more strip up top. But for me, this works perfectly and it, it makes me comfortable, which is the goal of the entire thing. 
So now that we've got our strips ready, um, we're gonna wanna round our edges because if you leave these with uh, pointy corners, the tension isn't gonna be evenly distributed and that's gonna cause problems with your blistering and anything like that that could go bad. So we're definitely gonna wanna round these edges just like you would wanna like kinda turn the corner and round it off here. It doesn't have to be perfect. There can be a little bit of a little bit of points there and that's okay. We're really just wanting just to evenly distribute everything. So these are our edges and this is kind of what it looks like. You know, you want it to be rounded on the sides. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't even have to be symmetrical even. It's really just you want to make sure to evenly distribute that um, around. So that's kind of how I get my strips ready and we're going to do the same thing to this one. two here ready to go and for me that's gonna be enough strips like I said I could probably make it a little flatter with more but this is what makes me comfortable so I'm gonna show you that okay so now that we've got our strips ready to go um, they're rounded we've got the size that we need the next step is to we need to make our handles okay so these handles you're gonna find probably four lines over and you're just gonna pull see how it just pops like that we're gonna want to just pop it all the way down and this is gonna end up being our handles because you do not want to put your fingers on the adhesive as much as, as least as possible because you want that to be able to be stick to your skin and not your fingers. So here's, here's what we, we've got these two now and then we're gonna peel this top piece back. That's our first step. Peeling it off, got a nice adhesive there. And then we are going to um, apply this piece along this line here. So it's gonna be kind of half on your chest, um, three quarters on your chest, kind of one quarter towards your stomach even. So that kind of holds, it gives you some security and holds that tissue in place for if you're running or jogging, it keeps it still and that's what we want. So um, to have the most support, you're gonna go probably right in line with this uh, nipple cover that I've got here, uh, maybe even a little bit above. And then so yeah, it's just kind of barely hitting my stomach there. And we're gonna rub that and it ad ad adhesive, make sure that's adhered. So we're gonna activate this um, this little piece right here. Make sure this is really solid, really solid for us there. And then, um, now we're gonna take this back piece and this is gonna become our second handle. Kind of back this way a little bit. Leave about an inch or two on the back. And we're gonna kind of fold right here. So now we have this as a handle to be able to get our tissue where we want it, down here towards the side and around. So what we're gonna do is now that this is so pretty solid on there now, I'm gonna, this is where we're gonna do some slight tension. I mean, we're not really trying to pull it over as hard as we possibly can. We're just gonna be applying the tissue like this. For me, I'm gonna start from the inside and kind of move this way. And then once I run out of this little strip, that's where the tension stops. No more tension at all. And it's supposed to be a smooth push process across here. You don't wanna make, you don't want this arm to be super high in the air because if you do and you put it down, you're gonna have a ton of wrinkles and we want limited wrinkles. We want the least amount of wrinkles as possible. All right, so now that we've got this side good to go, um, like I said before, I my application, I could make it flatter if I wanted to. I'm kind of a little chunkier dude, so I've kind of got a little belly, and for me, um, it just feels more natural to have like kind of larger pecs, um, is you know kind of like what I call them. So if I wanted to make it a more flat appearance, I could use a small, um, size strip or even a smaller piece and I would apply it up here to go down um, but for me or even up and over you know kind of like more like a peck but for me this is comfortable for me for my shirts and stuff so that's what I roll with um, let's get this other piece on this is our other piece that we prepared we're gonna do the same thing as last time and pop this pop it all the way down so we have our handle back 
And then this piece is gonna go right in here, right on this side. Um, a lot of people sometimes mention uh, like chest hair as a problem. Um, a lot of times if you use uh, like trimmers or whatever and kind of just like barely around the area where the tape goes, that can be helpful. Um, for me, obviously like I've used this for three years now so my skin is pretty used to it and then as my chest hair started to develop throughout my transition, um, kind of just like slowly adapted. So now that we've got this piece off, we're gonna do the same thing starting on the inside. Setting this on my my chest here. Sometimes you can go a little bit further down, um, but for me, this is gonna be good. So I've got this part right here. Flatten this, rub, kind of give it a little bit, 20, 30 seconds, whatever. Um, just kind of make sure you've got a nice solid bond there and rubbing is the biggest part. Activating that, that adhesive and getting it stuck to your skin. That's what we want. Okay, so now that I'm feeling pretty good about this side, we're gonna flip to this inside here. And we've got this, um, this corner to work with. So now that we've kind of peeled it back, we're just peeling it, giving us another little handle to work with all the way back. Slide across the top. And then here's our handle. So we're gonna do the same motion, kind of up and down, like diagonally. That's a big help for me too. Um, so we're gonna go Kind of push the tissue. This is where we got a little bit of tension here, a little bit of tension. And then once we get over here, we're not going all the way around the back. We're not, I mean, this is, we're gonna try to hold the tissue the most we can down our side. So we're gonna, now that I've gotten where I'm going here, we're gonna peel this back and apply in a smooth transition. Like I said, keep this arm down so you don't have any wrinkles, the least amount of wrinkles. nice easy smooth back that's what we're going for there so we're gonna rub that in so we're gonna rub that in make sure it's nice and solid I'm gonna check this mirror here make sure I'm, this works for what we're trying to do I'm feeling good about that so it's important when you're getting ready um, and about to apply your tape that you don't put deodorant on or any kind of lotion before you put on your tape because that's gonna um, cause kind of a layer in between your skin and the bond and we're trying to keep those together. So it's important to make sure you save your deodorant for afterwards and then it'll be good to go. But if you have that extra on there, it could cause you some issues. So that's just something to keep in mind. Another pro tip to keep in mind, if you do get stuck and you got, like, you're first putting it on and you're getting a little nervous, maybe it's not looking the way you want to, maybe you're experiencing some discomfort, um, it's okay to slap some oil on there and pull it off slowly like we uh, we show in our removal videos. Um, it's important to make sure that you're taking care of your skin. If, it, if there's discomfort, slight discomfort, when you first use it, maybe a little bit of itching is normal as your skin kind of gets used to a foreign substance being on it. But any kind of like burning or pain that you feel in the area that is not normal, definitely discontinue use message us in the live chat or use a, a test strip um, on, this, on the side of your uh, torso there, about a two inch by two inch strip to make sure and wait for 24 hours to be able to check and see if you have any allergies. And if you are in the US, we do send those out for free. If you do get stuck, always feel free to check us out in the live chat at transtape.life. We'll be happy to help you with application removal or any questions that you may have. See you guys in the next video.